Hey guys, Clumsy here, and in this video, we'll be checking out the official, yes, official Volvo VNL from SES. They finally released it. So it's been a long time coming, a couple of years in the making. Ever since the ATS release, everybody has been waiting for the Volvo VNL and finally it is out. It is the previous generation though, it is not the 2018 or 2019 version but it does look fabulous, looks beautiful. And we'll take a look at the different customizations, the different uh, quirks and the current bugs as of its release today. Yeah. So first and foremost, let's hear how the engine sounds like. It is This is one of the most contentious topics ever. I am using the Cummins ISX engine. I think it's a 450 horsepower engine. To be honest, that doesn't uh, give you much confidence, that exterior sound. Although the interior is much better in my opinion. If it's accurate, I have no clue. You guys will have to let me know. Very grindy, very grumbly. You guys let me know how that sounds like. Uh, if that sounds remotely similar to what you've been expecting. You can see the interior though. Just as beautifully modeled as the exterior. And this is all uh, very performance friendly as we will see right about now. Yeah, before we dive in, before we do a test drive. Oh, and yes, it's available in the Volvo dealer. The Volvo dealer is officially available now. No more no mods needed. Let's go and check out what the different customization options are. So if you go to truck dealers now, Volvo should be there even if you're using a vanilla profile. Volvo dealers are uh, available in San Francisco, Las Vegas, Farmington, and uh, Tucson. Even without mods, I think. In Oregon, I'm not sure if there's any. I don't think so. I don't think so. So let's go and check out the different variants. So in here, in the Volvo truck dealers, if you don't have any mods enabled, then you'll only see the Volvo VNL trucks. We have 300, 730, and 780, as well as 730. If you go and customize that, you see the different uh, available cabin options. There's the 300, which is the day cab, the 730, which is like the, the flat variant, and 780, which is the full-on aero type thing. Yeah, and uh, interestingly enough though, there is no 670. If you guys are familiar with Aradet's Volvo VNL 670, and I think that's one of the most famous variants, so I'm not sure why they didn't include it. But I guess they are aiming for the smallest, which is the day cab, and the largest, which is the 780. But not the ones in between. Anyway, that looks cool as heck. A couple of different options with the chassis. 6x2, 6x4, different sizes of the fuel tanks and the mid-lift option. Nothing fancy, but nice that you have an option at least. In terms of the engine, we have a lot of Volvo engines in here, D11, 13, and 16, different power variants, and the Cummins ISX, that's the one I chose, uh, this one in particular, the ISX 15. So I'm not sure if it will sound different if you choose a Volvo engine, I would guess it would, but I'm not very hopeful about that as well. I'm waiting for Krishboom sound mods. Well, I guess we can easily uh, adapt the uh, engine sounds from Aradet's Volvo if we're not happy with the stock sounds. But let's give it a chance, right? Give, let's give it a fair chance. In terms of transmission, we have Eton Fuller and iShift. I'm using the iShift currently. There's also an Allison transmission. I'm using an iShift uh, with a retarder, that one. And this comes, well, it's more fitting to use automatic transmission in that case, if it's iShift. In terms of the interior, two different options here. Blue or brown. I was kind of expecting like a black or gray, more neutral one. But I guess 
in reality, maybe this is how it's offered. I'm more a fan of the blue one though. In terms of the paint job, a lot of different options in here. Different uh, default uh, colors. This might be what's available if you actually purchase a truck from Volvo. Maybe these are the colors and maybe that's the code. Not really sure. But if you guys have more info, let me know in the comments, alright? But I do like the variety in here. And I do like that they made, I guess, all of the DLC, the paint job DLC is compatible with it as well. The Steam rewards, Juggernaut, they're compatible. Custom colors are available. Even the striped paint jobs that came out with the Oregon DLC, they are compatible and very nice looking as well. Actually, that looks very nice, isn't it? Yeah, so different variants. And uh, I'm not even sure where are these others came from. It's been a while. Halloween pack, compatible. Oh, that looks very nice. Viking knots. But yeah, in, in terms of the Volvo VNL, I'm more of a fan of the more basic colors. You know, the more neutral colors. Just a plain one. Like that. Makes it much more elegant. Oh, in this, let's have a look at the... Uh, number of triangles so you can have an idea how this performs in terms of frame rates so if you look at the triangle count that is a very very low number only 230,000 in here when you look at the other mods like custom mods from other people this can come up up to 3 4 million even 8 million so having only 200,000 in here is one of the best performing trucks ever in terms of frame rates. So this is very much in line with SES standards. So you wouldn't uh, be scared about frame loss in this truck. Even in the interior, it doesn't even reach a million. Normally, 1 million plus is the default with mods, truck mods reaching, I don't know, 3 or 4 million. But yeah, this is very, very optimized. Something that we would expect really from SES. And beautiful modeling. You don't even notice that it's low triangle count. I'm not sure how they do it, but it's magic. It's beautiful. Now let us turn that off and let's check, take a look at the other parts for customizing. The grill has an option for having a chrome variant. Bug deflectors. That one looks nice. Bull bars, not really a fan, but if you're into it, there are options. Different bumper options as well. This comes with a very nice variety. Modern, classic, and chromed is basically what you can get. Actually, I'm liking the chromed one. I should have gotten that because I got the classic one. And then the 1, 2, and 3. So modern, classic, and chromed, and it comes with 1, 2, and 3. The main difference is the fog lamps, I think. So classic 1, classic 2 uh, is the full chrome at the bottom, and classic 3 comes with the lights. So I guess it's the same with the modern, yeah, full chrome and then the one, yeah. So that's basically it. Mirrors. Ah, I, very iconic for Volvo VNL, that looking mirror. Or can you also go with the uh, classic looking ones? I think this is more for the classic trucks i'm more a fan of that one to be honest although as a matter of principle i don't use that enough i don't really use that that much because it's a reflection and in terms of frame rates that's not very good for uh, fps that lowers the frame rates and i don't have much use for that anyway so for me it's more of a uh, an aesthetic thing options here cabin lights um, well, well, yes, you can add some lights and have it a chrome lining in there as well. Now, there is even a light bar in here, which is interesting. If, even if you just keep the light bar, which is what I have, it just actually looks pretty cool. That line highlights very well those curves. It looks very sleek, doesn't it? Although, there is a an SCS bug, and this is known. So you can, uh, if you have mods for accessories, then you will be able to see them here. Yeah, like even I have even the one from the Freightliner FLB by Harvin, so you can use that. 
But if you don't have any mods, if you're playing with vanilla, just stick to the Volvo VNL or American Truck Simulator content, I think. Yeah, that's the one. You have one, uh, one lamp here, but it has a bug. You can see from the description, there is no icon and missing textures all over the place. So not really what we wanted. It does light up though. But yeah, most probably SES will fix that shortly. They probably just missed that. It's a known issue though. It has been reported several times in the forums and uh, yeah, it's a known issue. All right, over here, you can have some beacons. There are no horn adapters though, air horn adapters. I would have expected like a dot here on the side, but maybe not on this truck at least. Yeah, maybe not in this truck. What else? Mirrors. I do like that one. I do like that mirror scheme. Like the normal one in the wide angle. Separate. But if you choose any of these three below, they become a single bar like that. And they're just split in there. Like the normal in the wide angle. I was more looking for this one, but the painted version. But uh, there was nothing. Not a big deal. With the door handles, some of the variants you would expect. Side skirts, you can have a basic or a standard, which is basically, if you look, if you compare, covering the fuel tanks right there. And then you have an option of adding like lining in there. Basic chromed or chromed with uh, flares. Yeah, flags are also compatible if you're doing heavy haul. Also, the oversized load thing. What else? Exhaust, exhaust, single, double, or the one at the bottom. That one took me a while to find it, but it's that. It's there. It's very sneaky. You can also get some deflectors in here. Very nice looking. Reminds me of uh, Aradet's Volvo VNL. I think it has that thing as well. And a few mud flap options just to add to the mix. Yeah? What else? I think that's it. I think he covered all of the possible tuning options, which is very, actually very nice. Not too many, like some mods that we have, but for an SES truck, keeping it plain, official, actually has a lot of options. I'm happy with it. Let's make that exclusive. That seems to fit with the hood mirror right there. Yeah, it, this truck is pretty compatible, pretty uh, fitting with the paint and chrome variant. Although, if you're familiar with Aradet's Volvo VNL, I think that has a lot more customization options, like even plastic parts are included, but that's usually what we have. Our models are very um, passionate about adding dots to the trucks and SES keeps it more on the official setup so that's to be expected but I'm sure mods for this truck will be coming soon so stay tuned for sure count on it someone is already modding it <laughs> adding some dots in there adding some parts fixing the the lamps in terms of the tires there is really no difference so it just uses whatever you have, either from the vanilla or from mods like this one from Smarties Pack. Um, but yeah, let's not really, you don't really need to focus on that. Let's give that as a default. Yeah? Okay, inside. Inside, you have an option of getting the standard, the default steering wheel or an exclusive one, which is the brown one. Not so much a fan, but I can understand some people who are into the the tan, the brown interior. Like uh, fancy classic looking. That one is the GPS. It doesn't animate though. I remember Aradets, I was so amazed there. It was actually animating. If you turn off the engine, it goes down. Turn on the engine, goes up. This time, doesn't happen. So no animations there, unfortunately. There's a sunroof. Uh, other dots here, well, I also have, yeah, just to note, you might notice some additional dots here. If you stick to the US content, the, 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 the default content, 
just stick to the Volvo VNL DLC. You'll see that the white dots are the ones that are included, the gray dots are from mods. So by default, you'll have that there, but you'll not have any hanging items available. Yeah, so in the US, I think there are state laws that prevent you from putting accessories on your cab. It's illegal. But for creative purposes, we have uh, Sizzle's Mega Pack, which has an add on for SES trucks, which gives you additional dots, even if it's an SES truck. And Sizzle is so fast moving. This truck just came out a few hours ago, and Sizzle already has its compatibility for it. So, with that, you can get Tash options. And let's get go for my favorite one. Um, where is it? One sec. The dot. We need the dot. Ah, yes. Because I also need to enable the foggy weather mod. There we go. That is in closed beta currently, unfortunately. But that's my favorite at the moment. Or is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. Clumsy. Tr loves driving with foggy weather. Beautiful. Perfect matching with the blue. And then over here at the bottom, you can add maybe like a phone or something. Something like that for when the dispatcher calls you. <laughs> add some telepass items. So yeah, you can customize it as much as you want. Although that seems a bit floating. That doesn't seem like it's sticking to the windshield. Maybe it doesn't fit that well. Oh. Let's remove that. But yeah, aside from that, I think that's it. I think that's it. So maybe what we can do, we can go around the, the block, take it for a spin, and then try out the Volvo engine to see how it sounds, to hear how it sounds. And maybe compare which we like, if it's realistic or not. Let's hear it again. I don't know, it sounds a bit mild, or maybe I just got spoiled with the beauty of uh, Krishbom sounds. Interior, by the way, dash the computer dashboard. You do have some animations. The GPS is not animating, but the other toggles are. Lights. Indicators. Parking brake. Trailer brake. So they are working. The gear. Gear, no animation, okay. And the dashboard. Dashboard, uh, the computer, cruise control. There is a. Is there a digital speed? Oh, I doubt it. There's economy. Yeah. I think let's keep it like that. All right. Now there is another bug which has been reported already. You might notice it on my left. What the heck kind of side mirror <laughs> angle is that? You can absolutely see nothing. It's like a mirror for yourself. It's like a selfie mirror absolutely has no purpose whatsoever i don't think you can even adjust one sec hopefully we can ah you can okay and but it's not it's still limited that is the most you can do when normally you would want to see as little of the truck as possible like normally you would want it like ah, not even that even more but yeah at this point that is the best it can do that you want we want it like that normally right where we barely see any of the truck. Some people even don't want to see any part of the truck. For me personally, I like to see a little bit just so I know where what I'm seeing in relation to where the truck is. But yeah, it's, uh, it's weird how they missed that and how they missed the missing texture. And it seems like the beta, the beta testers are uh, boggled as well because I think they've reported the issue already. But still, SES still decided to release the truck without fixing them even with the bugs reported now that's just an uh, assumption on my end there is no real statement about that but that's what i've been getting in uh, when uh, in, in reading through the forums that's what i understand from it so i'll keep quiet for a second for a change <laughs> and you guys listen to the engine and uh, let me know what you think all right Let's start from the beginning and maybe let me increase the volume a bit. It 
let's make that two. So the engine has a fighting chance. Okay, I'll keep quiet from now. Almost crashed into someone there. <laughs> Whoops. Let's go somewhere. Let's go somewhere. So we can take this for a spin. A proper highway maybe. Maybe we can go to San Rafael. And then change our engine there. And then see how both engines sound like. Alright? That way we can get a proper test drive. Give it the enough of a chance to prove itself before we replace it with Krish Bomb's mods. Jake break. Actually, the engine sound isn't too bad, is it? Maybe the start sound is just not that good, but the engine itself, when it starts to rumble, it's not that bad. Okay, 55 now. Now we can step on it. I think we'll be passing through the Golden Gate here. Yeah, beautiful. Very nice. Do we need to slow down for the toll gate? Check brakes for the win. I know that guy. I saw that. That's a very nice... Is that new or... Have you guys seen that before? I saw a video about that. It's the one where it... It's the... The, the, the machine that changes the... The barriers. It's able to move the barriers. So it can increase or decrease the number of lanes in a, in a direction. Like for example, if it's rush hour and you want this side where we're driving at to have more lanes then the divider can be moved to the to like one more to the left or one more to the right depending on the need it's a very nice uh, piece of implement there it's nice to see that in the game and it's nice to see this beauty of the golden gate bridge with all these all the smoke I think this might be foggy weather induced, all this fog. This might be from foggy weather mode. Can't remember it this being being this uh, intense. I love it. So dramatic. It's like for a, a Hollywood movie. The planes I remember. But the fog didn't look this good before if I remember correctly. Unfortunately, we have to stick to 40 here. That's fine. So in this video, we try to make it the best of both worlds, so to speak. I try to put in as much of the content in the beginning of the video. So the people who just want to take a look at the truck options can get what they want and for those who want to stay and actually see and get a feel for how the, f the truck drives like you guys can stay and uh, watch till the end of the episode of the video so let me know what you think alright 
particularly let me know what you think of the truck sounds the engine sound and granted I don't have the best ears for judging how an engine sounds like in fact I suck at it so uh, my judgment is not reliable by far I leave that I leave that to the engine experts like Rohan one of our engine enthusiasts in the community and one of my moderators as well and uh, the others who are very have very keen ears and know how to judge a, an engine I heard from I was reading through the forums and I read a comment from Sheer Black Spots one of the prominent mothers we have in the community he said that the start and stop sounds that were used by this truck actually had like bad bearings or something and me being a complete uh, clueless guy when it comes to engines I have no clue what that means but I think that means the uh, the engine isn't uh, in a very good condition and that's what they used for recording maybe that's what you hear when you start and stop the engine I'm not sure if he was referring to the Volvo engine or the Cummins engine, or the SX engine. But we'll uh, go and uh, switch out our engines and see if the sound is any different. And uh, I'll probably won't be able to tell the difference, but you guys will. So I'll rely on you, right? I'll be waiting for your comments. very much liking this truck though it's been a long time coming and even though it's not the newest Volvo VNL I would have preferred that one because I do love the interior of that one even more this one has a more of a like a, a balance between modern and classic look like if you look at the dials it's a bit more modern but overall it's a classic like 90s looking truck I'm really excited for when SES is uh, getting ready with the new Volvo VNL. But then the problem is, if they do it, if they don't do it fast enough, then maybe by the time they release it, there's a newer one again. Like if they release the, for example, the 2018 version, in 2020, maybe there is then a 2020 version by then. I don't know, no clue. Although I guess truck designs don't change that much. So maybe it should be safe. Maybe only incremental upgrades. Okay, some parts of the engine I'm not so much a fan of. Sometimes when it purrs I'm okay. But in some cases it's a bit artificial to me. Like it when it's revving down like that, when you're just cruising along. Like let's hear it when the, the gear goes down, that one. So it's silent, right? That one. So when it's like idle and then it shifts down and then the rev is a bit like on the loud end. I'll keep quiet so you can hear it. That one. I don't know. It sounds very artificial for me. Maybe there is something missing there. There is a magic ingredient missing. But yeah, the thing is, with SES, um, I don't know why, but they have like very nice recording equipment based on the blog that they share. But they don't normally give out the best sound engines. I don't know why, but for sounds, we normally rely on Krishbom and our other community modders. So... That one is pretty much within the expectation. Okay, let's switch to a Volvo D13 or maybe D16500. Why not? Why not? Let's get that. And let's hear if it changes any of the sounds. Alright, let's hear it. Keep your ears peeled and I'll keep quiet.
maybe that's the one with the bad bearing but the, the start sound is very quiet very subtle I'm not sure if it's really like that but in other trucks it isn't for sure stop the engine <laughs> I like that squeal at the end let's hear it from inside hmm very nice rumbly idle sound I like this engine better. Let's take it for another short spin. Just a very very short one before I let you guys go. Let's go via... actually maybe you can go to the cat one. Speaking of cat, um, I saw in the Steam Workshop Polly already has a skin for the Volvo VNL. That fast, yes. <laughs> the cat skin already. Super fast work. And if you're wondering why I have a cat company in here, I'm using the 3D company logos from P16. It's available in the Steam Workshop. I have to climb this curb. The trailer is too wide. Not even sure if this trailer that we have is legal in California. I think this is the 53 inch trailer or something. Maybe not completely legal, but. Let's just be sneaky about it. The gear shifting, the revs when the gear shifts sounds too, uh, how do you say, it sounds too distant for me, like night and day, too low sound and then too high sound, too loud and then too soft, or vice versa, it doesn't feel natural. I don't know how to describe it, but... You get my point? I mean, I guess it's not bad. I guess in the long run we could get used to it. But I mean, if you're using mods, if you're into mods anyway, I'm sure we could do better. I could easily retrofit the engine sound from Aradet's Volvo into this one but I'm sure someone's already working on it because I've been seeing a lot of complaints about the, the, the engine sound oh and we haven't checked the wiper yet not sure if we'll have a chance it's very smoky in here though. What's happening? It's pretty scary. What the heck? This is getting freaky. Okay, wipers. Wipers are good. Yeah, two settings on the wipers. We have animations on the switch. It's fine. Lights are okay. Yes. DRLs are also there. Ah, those are DRLs. Daytime running lights. Can you see the abruptness when you shift the gear? Very interesting weather. Scary. <laughs> but yeah, 
let's let's give the, the engine a chance. I'll keep quiet again. I really like the Jake Brick though. Not your usual loud, whiny US Jake Brakes, but maybe it's an exhaust brake? Very low sound. Where the heck are we going? spot still weirded out by the the weather here ah I am noticing something I'm noticing something ah there might be another bug in the truck itself SES doesn't normally get this wrong but in this case if you look here it's the the ground is really bright right but if you go from external You'll see that the ground isn't that bright anyway. And the main evidence is if you look on the side like this, and then you slowly peek out, you see the the shade, the exposure. It's getting a bit darker, right? So it's bright here, and then it gets darker as you go out of your windshield, of your mirror, of your side uh, glass, however you call it. But that basically means that the tint of the windshield, the tint of the glass in the interior is wrong. It's a bit too white. That is why it's causing overexposure. This is my number one pet peeve with trucks. Normally it only happens with modded trucks because they usually it's because of the vertex color of the windshield. It's a bit too technical. It's getting a bit technical, but it's the it's regarded with the 3D model. The model of the windshield has a color. If the color is white, it causes that overexposure thing, which causes things to be too bright when you're inside. It's like it's like night vision, you know, like the built-in night vision goggles. That's the opposite than if you have a tint. It's like a negative tint. That's what happens when the vertex color is white usually. So usually, normally, the vertex color should be gray instead of white. And normally, SES gets that, right? But this time, you can notice the difference in the exposure there. Goodness, that's a huge bug for me. No wonder it seems so bright sometimes. I was just thinking it was uh, a bit... What time is it anyway? 1.21. Yeah, it's midday. So it's understandable, but... Still a bit too bright. Well, I wish they fixed that. I haven't heard anyone report that yet. But maybe I'll have a look at the forums. Maybe I can report it if it uh, doesn't get reported. Yeah, aside from that, the truck is very smooth. So I mainly I just saw three problems. Well, four. The bug on the lamp. They bug on the angle of the mirror, the overexposure on the glass, like that, and the sound engine, which is not really a bug, but it's uh, it could be better. Four gripes, but for me, the only major one is the well, the sound, but I don't think we can do anything about that. And the windshield, I hope they fix the windshield. And I don't think we have any space to maneuver this. 
so maybe I just uh, yeah let's leave it there anyway <laughs> alright so let's leave it there guys I don't want to embarrass myself thank you for watching have a nice day and if you did like this video please don't forget hit the thumbs up button hit the like button share comment and I'll be waiting for what you have to say thanks for watching have a nice day catch you in the next one and close the trucking